it's just a, it's a bit of a shame with the case that it's so damaged inside, but I can find another case and, um, and that will be fine. Okie dokie, right, third, we have this white box here. Okay, oh bloody hell. All right, so we have a, another Wayfarer. So this one is a Generation 2, by the looks of it, with uh, grey lenses. And, um, yep, yeah, really nice. Um, I cannot remember the colourway to these. Uh, for toner or something along those lines. Um, but, um, but, yeah, it's just another Wayfarer, but Generation 2. So Generation 2 is basically, it has no BL etching at the hinge point position here and here, but it does have the thicker uh, temple arms here. Um, these are 5024s, pretty nasty condition as you can see all the sweat deposits here uh, and also on the other side, all of that white is sweat deposit which I can get rid of um, with a bit of time and effort. And as you can see here, it also has all the sweat deposit. So I have to do a bit of work on that to get it all cleaned up. I can't remember if I've bought these specifically for this model. I don't think so because I already have this colorway. Um, I think I actually bought it for the lenses to put in a, uh, another pair of Generation 2 uh, wafer Wayfarers that I have. But there you go, that's the third one. Very, uh, very basic. Uh, well, it's not that basic, it's still a Generation 2, which is rare in itself. But yeah, a basic Wayfair. I can't remember the colourway, so I do apologise. So that's that there. Okay, so here we have uh, a Ray-Ban for driving sun case. So hopefully it is an actual Ray-Ban for driving a um, pair of sunglasses. And here we have it. It is uh, a Outdoorsman 58mm with a bit of hair on it um, with uh, B15 brown lenses and mirrored uh, top gradient as well. So let me try these on. Or actually, let me check the condition of the lenses first. You have to be very very careful in how you grade your sunglasses um, because the condition of the lenses in particular will be the difference between you being able to sell something for say a hundred pounds um, and fifty pounds you know so let me just give that a little bit more of a clean have another look yeah Superb condition. Yeah, fantastic. Let's put those on. Yeah, really nice. So here we have Outdoorsman top gradient mirrored B15 brown lenses. It is uh, part of the first edition driving series. Um, and yeah, really nice indeed. Comes with the original case as well. I will probably end up selling these, um, so head over to blrayban.uk and there you will probably, more than likely, find it. Okay, and there you have it, very nice indeed. Okay, so we have another brown case, this one is genuine as it's got the two splits in there with the little circular uh, top and circular in cut at the bottom there. Okay, so that's that. Let's see what we've got. Ah, oh, okay. So this is a little bit different. Ah, oh, let me put it on for starters. Here we go. This is definitely going up for sale. This is not the kind of sunglasses that I would generally wear. I've bought this simply because it's something different from the store in mint condition, unworn. Um, 
if I remember correctly on what the description was. Um, for the life of me, I can't remember what the model is. So bear with me, let me put you on pause. Okay, so this is the Explorer. I just needed to find out whether or not this was the small Explorer or the larger Explorer version. This is the small Explorer uh, version um, with um, black frame. So the model code number is W0963 which you can see there has G15 lenses and uh, yeah it's an okay model to be fair there's a lot of people out there who do like this kind of sunglass it's not something for me but everybody is different um, you know and as I said I literally bought it because it's in new old stock condition and it's something that I number one I've never actually bought for my collection and number two, um, I think it's ideal for the store for somebody who do who does like this kind of sunglass to purchase. So again, head over to blrayban.uk and you will find it over there. This is the small explorer with black ebony frame. Very nice indeed. Okay, so I have this right here. And the other side is there as well. So straight away you know that it is going to be a changeable um, pair of sunnies. Um, right, okay. So it's saying it is a shooter and um, a wrister changeable as well. In terms of colour, it doesn't say. That model code is quite an old code as well, 60s stroke 70s model code. Um, whether or not this card goes with the actual sunglasses, we will find out. So let's have a look. Uh, just on the other side of that is just uh, basically telling you everything about Ray-Ban and the sunglass itself. Bit of, uh, bit of marketing there. The, the, also, this has um, this on it. I don't know what that says. It looks Arabic. I don't think it is, but that's what it does look. I'm not sure whether or not this is a genuine case. I will have to look into that a bit more deeply. But, um, but yeah, I don't know what that says. If there's anybody out there that's watching this that knows what, the, um, what this means, Please, uh, please let us know in the comments section. But without further ado, let's obviously open this up and see what we have. Okie dokie. Booyah! Very nice indeed. Comes with the tag here and this, uh, this nice little uh, tag as well. Uh, which is the guarantee tag. This is a um, a shooter. So I'm just looking looking at the size. Looks like it is 62 mil. Also looks as if it is super changeable grey. The nice thing also is that the etching is at the 12 o'clock position on, I don't know if you can see that other one, on both lenses here and there. Really nice indeed. Obviously in new old stock condition, I will be selling these on the website. Um, so there you have it, let's put them on. And uh, yeah, very nice indeed. Can't complain at all. It probably, very nice. 
So again, shooter, 62mm, all the tags, very nice. So that's the sixth one that came in. Okay, and last but not least is this box here and ends up being this. So we have a Loxotica case, don't need that. And what do we have? We have another Wayfarer. Uh, okay. So we have another Wayfarer. It's damaged as well. As you can see here, the temple is damaged. It probably only needs a pin. I don't know if you can see that but one of the pins is missing so I will probably take that to the opticians and, um, and get them to pin that also there is damage on this side as well so there's damage as well as you can see at the hinge point some of the uh, plastic has come off um, and these look like RB RB3, RB3 lenses without the BL etching. So I think again I have bought these specifically for the lenses rather than the, um, the actual frame. Um, the lenses themselves are in pretty good condition. So very basic, you know, again um, a generation 2 um, Wayfarer with RB3 with RB3 lenses and there you have it seven parcels for you that came in this morning um, there's a wide variety of different models some that could go into my collection some that will go for sale hope you liked the video Please comment, please like, please share, but most of all, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.